Hey everybody, Mass with an A4. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Ash. Last time we made our way to Nambasa City and we fought Bianca's dad to stop him from letting Bianca go on her off her journey or whatever. But there is way too many trainers in Nambasa City, so we're what still here and we are going to be taking on the gym leader today. But first gotta take out some trainers. And by some, I mean all of these people! What the heck? How many of you are there? Let's play indeed. <gasps> A ditto. Mine's better. Drill! Okay. Alright, this is what we're doing. Drill pack. Ouch. Oh my. <laughs> All right, Rocket. I laugh at your air cutter. Smack down. Okay, wait, hold up. They're doing some damage. Really? All right. Let's go, Snivy. Not the accuracy. Leaf Blade, let's go! Really weird seeing a swimmer with no water types. That's kind of their... their deal, you know? Oh, it's concentrated. In a room with this many people? Oh, shoot. Lipard. Lipard, however you call it. Ouch! That really hurt! Next opponent. Double battle, double battle, wait, wait, hold, hold, hold. Get a double battle going. Yeah! Okay, I'm 70% sure what the first guy said was not proper English. I. Man. I blinked, bro. Turn and go for the double first. Uh oh. Should use the tracks. Ouch! Ha! Look at that guy using slam. How embarrassing! Ouch! I think we gotta get the heck out of here. We're we gonna roost up. Well, now you die. Bye bye. Man's in line. Uh, I was gonna say that last single attack. But that's not true. He got a rock slide. And hey, we don't have to heal. Awesome sauce. Ooh, rock slide. I might as well screw it. 90 accuracy. 
Oh, shoot, another one. Quick attack! And attract! Just saving my PP for drill pack. Oh! He landed slam! Impossible! Oh, I guess we'll kill you. Yeah, do something backwards. Rockin'! You were to get your game on? I guess so. Goodbye, tree monkey. Oh, I see what's going on here. I see what's going on. You guys think you're so clever. Rock on! Oh, we can swap out. Oh, but hold! Oh! It's one of why that did so much damage. I meant to... Lemonade up? Don't get run over. No promises. Oh, I gotta get out of here! Smackdown! No! <sighs> there we go. <laughs> Let's try to talk to you. More timber, eh? One more to go. Not the swagger. That's fine. Rock Sun will do much more damage. Never mind. I mean, we're back to neutral. Worked out. <laughs> I 
Congratulations, you played yourself. Chip away. That ignores defenses, right? Oh, for Scraggy, screw that, no. And that's everybody! Didn't take as long as I thought it would, which is nice. Think all that's left is the gym? Let me check top right real quick. Pretty sure that loops around Unova still. Yeah. Musical theater. Don't worry about that later. Oh, never mind. I can't even go this way. They probably blocked it off, which is fair. And Bossa, lit, lit by the flash of lightning. And here is thy gym. No Ferris wheel? Guess I can't really incorporate that for Generation 3. That's okay, though. Alright, we're at the Nambasa City Gym! A very infamous gym, if I do say so myself. Which we'll be getting into. Uh, I guess you can just keep your Eviolite Palpatode. Lucky Egg. Shining Beauty. Elisa uses Electro Type Pokemon. They are weak only. Elisa uses Electro Type Pokemon. They are weak against only the Ground Type. They are strong against Flying and Water. Flying, Electric, and Steel moves also don't do much damage. Yeah, we're fighting an Electric Type Gym Leader. So uh, we have a game plan. Prepare for trouble. Jesse, is that you in disguise? Blitzel! And now we leech seed you. And let the sapping begin! Let me guess, you have flame- Ah, there it is, guys! There it is! It's- It's flame charge! Wow! We played. I forget what Zep Blitzel's uh, ability is. Is it probably static? It could be static. I don't even remember. Blitzel again. Use a track. Now use Leech Seed. Leaf Blade again! <laughs> now when did that happen? Snivy! Double battle! Oh no! Surprise, I'm not just a model. Not going to happen. Oh, right, I remember this gym's like a walkway. At least it's a fashion model, so. She has like a walkway or a runway, whatever you want to call it. I think it's called a walkway. Oh, Emolga will be trouble! Because it's part flying. In that case, we are going. We're still going to attract the Blitzel, and we're going to go for the Hydro Pump. Okay! Snivy is kill! Alright! Huh? 
rock slide. Sludge wave. Ouch! Rockin! Let's go! Clutch, clutch, clutch! How could you? No! No! Alright, another trainer. Uh, I'm gonna go heal, because we can. We are back! This the last trainer? I think so. Prepare to follow my beauty. If you're not Lisa, I don't care! Great! Another Emolga. Lovely. Ow! What? Sure, I guess. That's just gonna hydro pump everything, bro. Not special defense. Didn't save ya. There she is. I'm just gonna heal here. Actually, no, we won't because we're not using Rog and Rolla. So this will be a three v three Pokemon battle, right? So, is this the worst gym battle in the Unova region? Yeah, actually. I don't know if the first one or the fourth one or this one's the worst. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But this one's this one's down there in the Hall of Shame. All right. <laughs> uh, three v three Pokemon fight. So Elisa she uses Zebstrika, Emolga, and a Tynamo, and Ash uses Palpatoad. And then Stivey, and then Pikachu, because Ash's like, Oh, I'm a Ground-type now, I can easily win the Electric-type gym. But yeah, um, realistically speaking, Stivey's gonna be useless in this fight. Uh, so yeah, a lot of people hate this gym battle because, again, Ash just brought us Palpatode, and his Palpatode barely won against Substrika. Like, at least his Substrika's pretty cool, but like... Palpatode barely snuck out a W from that, and then Amolga shows up and destroys Palpatode, and Ash has to run out of the gym to go get another Pokemon, because for some reason, even though he has more than six Pokemon, he only brought his Palpatode. Or at least that's implied, right? Because they asked him that question, and all he did was laugh. And then he took all that time to hard counter pick uh, Emolga and realized... Ah, oh, Electric-type moves don't do much against Grass-types, but Emolga's also a Flying-type! I FORGOT! Oh my god! He travels with a... Dragon Master who has an Emolga for, for some reason. And, uh... Snivy gets cooked. Another thing that was annoying in that fight was the Attract battle. Is like, Ash, you know it's gender-based, right? <laughs> oh... Like, what a disaster of a fight. And then Pikachu snaps him out of it and just cleans up. Thank goodness. Pikachu clutched up for once. Alright. For Palpatode. Oh, you already had an Evil Light. Oopsie daisy! Let me put that back on you. Like, El Elisa isn't a bad gym leader by any means. It's just Ash ruined that entire fight. Her Tynamo is pretty cool for only having Tackle, just being a, a menace, I thought that was pretty cool. 
but I don't know. Like, I know people, when they bring up worst gym battles, bring up this one, but I don't know, man. Like, the first Unova gym, that's Raiden gym, that was horrible. Like, Pikachu versus Panpour was genuinely terrible. <laughs> oh my goodness. And Oshawa versus Pansage, that was terrible too. There will be many people in your life who don't agree with you, who will try to stop you, oppose you, never give in to them. Sorry, let me get back on track. This place usually distracts me and leaves my head wandering. Now, let's allow our Pokemon to dazzle on stage. Because she's tingling all over. Alright. Um. I, again, like I said, I don't see Snivy really get any Ws here. It's probably just going to be Palpatone and Pikachu. But, uh, yeah! Time for Unova Gym Battle number quattro. Number four. You're challenged by gym leader Alicia. Striker! Alright, let's set up an aqua ring. Oh! Crit! Critted! Critted me! What the heck? Alright. Now, Mudshot, go! Yeah, double kick's the best thing it could go for, honestly. It has wild charge, but why would it use that? Much shot again! N nani Alright. Even though gym leaders aren't allowed to switch, well that's okay. And we are probably dead here if this Moga does not die. Very cool. Uh Blydra well, Pump again! Alright, Stivy, let's see what you got! Can a Leaf Storm kill? No shot him faster than the Emolga. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, let's go! Got a W after all. Let's go, let's go. Striker! We're actually gonna switch out. I'll teach you to do this. I choose you! Volt Tackle! Oh, you motor drive, that was it. Okay, I just had to, rem had to remind myself, okay? It's been a while. Let's go for Iron Tail! Tynamo! See, like I said, like, uh, Elisa's Tynamo, extremely fast, spams tackle, it can float, can fly. And it was really cool to see how Ash beat it. Go for Leech Cena. But tackle in the games? Omega oh lol. Omega oh lol. Leech Storm, go! I can't die. I'm feeding off your vitality. Finish it off with Leaf Blade. Oh yeah, something was really funny. Uh, for some- so distracting, so dazzling. We did it. I'm surprised Snivy survived the fight and Palpso didn't. You've earned the Bolt Badge! We got a Bolt Badge! Here, have this TM2. Bolt Switch, baby! Definitely not expecting that, he said sarcastically. TM72 contains Volt Switch. If it hits you, you switch out with an ally. That's really funny in the English dub of Black and White, or Best Wishes, whatever you want to call it. Uh, for some time, like, Ash just kept calling Oshawott's razor, razor Shell, Shell Blade. For, like, multiple episodes. I thought that was really funny. But hey, we got ourselves our fourth Unova Gym Badge. Four down, four to go. Then we can escape this terrible, terrible region. <laughs> But next time on Pokemon Fire Ash, we'll be heading over to the 5th Unova Gym Challenge. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and sayonara.